Hey guys, so as promised, I'm going to show you some of the techniques that I use using some of the instruments from the nail kit video. Now here, I've already actually kind of cheated and I pushed back my cuticles already, but it's okay, we're going to do it again. But first we need to remove our nail polish. So I'm going to take our clear nail polish or our top coat from our nail kit and I'm going to apply that over my nail. And also using our paper towel cut into little squares. Now assuming that you don't have nail polish remover, you could use this technique. You just want to put on a very generous amount of top coat, leave it for a few seconds, and then you can wipe it away. Now the only reason this actually hasn't removed all of my nail polish is because I'm wearing like four layers. So if you were wearing a normal one to two coats, this would take it off entirely. Otherwise, feel free to go back in with another coat. And as you can see, that pretty much took off mostly everything. However, you do want to use a regular nail polish remover. So we're going to do that a nail polish remover that contains acetone is better. Next we can deal with our nasty cuticle situation by grabbing our lemon. And I've also grabbed some q-tips but that part is optional. You're going to want to squeeze out some of the lemon juice and then just apply that to your cuticles. You can also just use your finger. So next we're going to grab a cuticle pusher and I'm using an orange wood stick. But remember you guys can use your fingers if you don't have tools. I like to use my thumbnail because that works just as well too. And don't forget to be gentle. Pushing your cuticles back should be really easy. It should just kind of do it. And please note guys that you should not have to force your cuticles back. If you do, you might want to re-soak your nails, apply more or a different product. Um, whatever you have to do to get your cuticles soft because this should be very easy and most of all, it should not hurt. And in order to do that, all I do is go into small circular motions rather than kind of jabbing straight back. And if you want to, you can turn your orange wood stick around and use the pointed end too. Now, as you guys can see, this method does work, but I have a lot of dead tissue. So I'm going to take my ceramic pusher and this is going to help me eliminate everything. And to use this product, you want to start by soaking it in some type of liquid. I like to use rubbing alcohol because I just find it to be the most hygienic. And then again, I'm just going to go in circular motions until I've eliminated all of the cuticle from the nail plate. I also love to use rubbing alcohol to clean up after myself, but you could probably just use water or, you know, go wash your hands. And that's it. It looks like we're done, right? Maybe? Actually, we're not. Do you guys see this little area where I still have some dead tissue? You take a closer look, you'll see that I still have some loose or dead skin in this area. So now is the only appropriate time to use cuticle cutters. So I'm going to take my nippers out of my kit and only cut the loose skin. You don't want to go blindly cutting around your nail plate because you can actually cause hangnails that way. So if you don't have to use these, please don't. Remember your cuticles are there for a reason. You use your hands for almost everything. So if you damage it or cut any live tissue, you can be introducing a lot of bacteria and dirt into your body and you may cause an infection. So please be careful. So all that's left is to shape the nail. So I'm going to take our nail files and specifically I'm going to be using a 320 to 280 grit file. This is really fine. So this means if I have natural nails that are susceptible to peeling, then it's going to be really gentle. And once I've shaped my nails, I'm really just kind of doing maintenance at this point. So I just kind of straighten the sidewalls and take down the length if I need to. And if you guys happen to be curious as to how I got this shape, then I will leave a link to my almond and oval nails down below. Then we're almost done guys. As a final step, I'm just going to take our cuticle oil and I'm going to apply that to the eponychium and the hyponychium. And I don't just rub this into the surrounding skin, massage it into the entire nail plate. And if you take nothing else from this video, make sure that you take this one. Your nail is not a solid mass. It's several layers of keratin, which is a protein. So when you overexpose to water, it weakens them and you can start to lift these layers. You know this as peeling. However, oiling your nails, especially with jojoba oil, will not only hydrate your nails, but it will start to compact those layers back together. It's also my personal belief that massaging the eponychium area actually stimulates the nail matrix. This area is basically responsible for nail growth. When I first decided to grow out my nails, this is how I saw the biggest difference. I mean, huge. And last but not least, we're just gonna take your favorite lotion and massage that into your hands. And you know, while you're at it, why not give yourself a hand massage because you deserve it. Did you guys learn anything different that you didn't know before watching this video? Let me know down in the comments.